tonight to the I team investigation at a well known surgeon accused of harming patients now facing millions of dollars in malpractice lawsuits. The state shutting down the surgery center at the Bonatti Spine Institute, claiming it's putting patients at risk. But tonight, I team investigator Adam Walser uncovers how the doctor has still managed to keep performing surgeries, sending patients to local hotels. And tonight we hear from the attorney who believes the state is failing to protect the public by, by allowing him to operate. Beginning of disc number one to the videotape deposition of Alfred O. Bonatti, MD. This is one of Dr. Alfred Bonatti's sworn depositions given after he was sued for malpractice. In this 2020 video, Bonatti testified he was born in Chile in 1939 and attended medical school in Spain. Records show he trained for 10 years at multiple hospitals and medical schools in the United States before opening the Bonatti Institute in Hudson, Florida in 1981, where he trains a team of surgeons. I am the one who developed the te technique for spine surgery. Bonatti is listed as chief orthopedic surgeon on his company's website. You failed the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons board certification class exam at least twice. Is that true? Yes. The Florida Department of Health doesn't require specialty certifications, and the Health Department's website says Bonatti doesn't have any that the state recognizes. Surgeries at the Bonatti Spine Institute can cost tens of thousands of dollars. According to documents obtained by the I-Team, Bonatti's medical and business enterprises generated approximately $2.5 million per month in gross revenue in 2022. How many surgeries do you perform in an average week? Around maybe 10 surgeries. We are around 55,000 or more procedures performed. Bonatti doesn't have a medical license in Nevada, according to the Nevada State Board of Medical Examiners, but he opened a second location in Las Vegas in 2017. 200 folks in attendance throughout the night, and we had a lot of very, very influential people that uh, came by to stop by, welcome you into the Las Vegas marketplace. The facility uh, closed in 2021, so. and the state of Florida closed the Bonatti Spine Institute Surgery Center in March, serving an emergency suspension order that says an unlicensed surgical technologist applied sutures in a surgical drain without a surgeon in the room, and investigators were told an unlicensed technologist performed an entire spinal surgery. Bonatti's attorneys filed a motion with the Court of Appeals to lift the suspension, saying an ESO that puts nearly 100 employees out of work without any allegation of any actual or potential harm to any patients is simply too harsh a remedy. The court sided with the state leaving the suspension in place. Attorney Nicole Krugel has sued Bonatti at least three times since 2018 and reached settlements in all those cases. They were all very similar cases involving complications during surgery, which led to some very serious problems that were then not addressed correctly, and my clients were devastatingly injured as a result. In various court papers, Dr. Bonatti responded that he did not cause the patient's injuries, that the patient's own negligence was a factor, and denied allegations of wrongdoing. Do you currently have privileges to perform surgery at any hospital? No. That was from 2020, and according to the Department of Health, the same is true today. No hospital has allowed him to do surgery in many, many years within their walls, but because of the way that the laws are written, he can just open up a surgery center. The Bonatti Institute Surgery Center is licensed for ambulatory care, on its website, it states outpatient, no hospital stay is necessary. In this 2020 deposition, Bonatti said patients have been sent to local hotels after surgery. Um, does a nurse visit them at these hotels? If it is necessary, yes. We contacted patients who filed suit against Bonatti, but none agreed to an interview. We are bound by a confidentiality agreement where some of my patients can't even talk about what happened to them, let alone the fact that there was a lawsuit and a settlement. In 2004, Florida voters passed a constitutional amendment nicknamed the Three Strikes Law, which says the Florida Board of Medicine shall not license or continue to license a medical doctor found to have committed repeated medical malpractice. 
but settled cases don't count as strikes. Most cases don't go to trial. There's not a verdict. There's no admission of liability. There's no finding of liability. We found on the state's Office of Financial Regulation website that Bonatti has settled 10 malpractice cases, totaling more than $2.5 million. A 2022 bankruptcy filing shows an additional settlement agreement of more than $5 million. Bonatti has repeatedly been disciplined by the Florida Board of Medicine. When you put a case in front of the medical board, it's a board of your peers. And while they're supposed to be protecting the citizens of Florida, and the victims of malpractice, in most cases, they're there to protect the physician. The Florida Department of Health lists 17 discipline cases and five public complaints for Dr. Benatti, but he has never had his license suspended or revoked. He's gone on for decades, and whenever anyone's tried to hold him accountable, they failed. Dr. Benatti originally agreed to do an interview about the closure of the surgery center. We met with him and his attorney for more than an hour here at the Bonatti Spine Institute, but they later canceled two scheduled interviews. My team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Matt McGlashan and Randy Wright taking action for you. And tonight, Bonatti's attorney tells us his client delayed the interview with ABC Action News because of the pending state complaint involving the surgery center. He also says the facility has submitted a plan of correction and is now waiting for the state to sign and return it so that the center can reopen. We'll keep you posted.